watching Visionary Women's Visionary Talk. I'm joined now with Lindsay Sloan. She's EVP of Scripted TV at MGM. Lindsay, thank you so much for sitting down with us. Yeah, thank you. Now, we're talking about women in entertainment. What do you think is something that you can point to as the biggest growth that you've seen in your career of women in your position? I think when I first started in the industry, there was a sense that for a woman to be successful, she had to act like a man. And I think that the more I've been in the business, people are embracing that women can be women and still be powerful and successful and approach problem solving in a different way than they would have before. And can sometimes add something to the conversation. I mean, yeah. you obviously work in entertainment. You need that female perspective. What do you think male colleagues kind of lean on you most for? I think different things. I mean, I think our department, I'm the only woman in our department. Wow. And um, But everyone gets along really well. And it's more the types of projects that I'm drawn to could be different than someone else. And part of that's just taste. And part of that might be because I'm a woman. But I think that everyone sort of manages their own projects. But it's interesting because we have a female director on one of our shows, on a pilot we just did. And watching her, and she came up as a DP in a very male-driven business, and yet she still maintained her femininity. And we were shooting this one scene where um, it was the most intense scene in the pilot, and the youngest actress in our cast had to be naked in the scene. And our director made the set so safe for her and nurtured her in a way that I don't know that a male director would have been able to make this young woman feel so safe and protected when she did her scene. And it came out phenomenal and she acted, you know, to the best that she could because she felt safe in the environment that she was in. And I think that, you know, that was because she leaned into what made her special as a woman. And, and I'm sure I'm sure that contributed to a greater product that maybe you would not have gotten like twenty years ago where there were all male directors. Exactly. You know, the female wouldn't have, you know, felt that comfortable. Exactly. Now I think there's also this misconception that women are like dog eat dog with each other in the workplace and I would assume that, and don't quote me on this, that entertainment can get a little catty just by nature of the business because you, it's similar to a lot of other industries where, you know, to get ahead, you might have to step on a few toes. Do you find that to be true? I actually found the opposite, and I, I might be in the minority, and I feel incredibly lucky, but all the women that I've worked with have been mentors, and I've never felt marginalized or in competition with them um, in, in any sense. So I might have just been the lucky one that worked with amazing women, or that's... Or it's a changing fashion. landscape yeah. because there are more positions and more opportunities available. If you could give one piece of advice to someone who wants to be you, you know, in you know, a couple of years, girl, obviously, <laughs> what would you say to her? I think a couple of things. Work your hardest, be yourself, and I think your taste is your taste, and you have to own that, and you have to be comfortable enough to have an opinion, because that's what people look for, and you have to be able to back that opinion, but you should never be afraid to have an opinion and fight for things that you believe in. And be yourself. Thank you yeah. so much, Lindsay. Thank you. Thank you.